हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू इंग्लिश शॉर्ट एंड क्लासेस एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन गेट रेडी फॉर द रिकेशन रिकेशन विल बी स्टार्ट इन फाइव सेकेंड आई एम हैप्पी दैट द गवर्नमेंट हैज इम्फोसाइज इट्स कमिटमेंट टू नॉन अलाइनमेंट बट इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ देयर कमिटमेंट टू नॉन अलाइनमेंट दे हैव tried to use the phrase genuine non alignment stock i shall not quarrel with my friend about words stock but what is non alignment stock non alignment is not a mantra non alignment is the basic fundamental right of every sovereign country stock when we are not committed and there is no prior commitment to any power block we take our decision on what our policy should be on its merits on any given issue stop and if this cannot be genuine it cannot be non alignment stop so to use the word genuine non alignment in a sense is a contradiction in term stop in any case i hope what he means by genuine and what we meant by genuine are the same and there is no concrete difference in the word stop today foreign relations do not cover only consular or diplomatic relations stop they cover trade economic development technological cooperation and many other things stop foreign relations also fall into different spheres and categories stop it is needless for me to point out the importance of our relations with the soviet union in many of these fields stop Soviet Union has always stood by us in every hour of our crisis and in every problem that we have had to face stop this can be said of few other countries and we recognize this invaluable assistance stop i shall not delay on this i am sure my friend understands what i am trying to convey stop at the same time i need not emphasize the necessity of our working out economic and developmental relations with the united states japan west germany and other western countries stop they have the technology and they have the financial resources to play a leading role in giving assistance to all developing countries stop but we have to recognize the complementary nature of any assistance that we can get either from the soviet union or from the western countries stop this complementary nature of assistance is very clear and does not require any elaboration stop there is one other aspect to which i would like to draw the attention of the honorable minister stop this is very often forgotten stop we are not really an underdeveloped country stop next to the united states and ussr the largest reservoir of technological skills do exit in india stop it is unfortunate that we have not been able to utilize fully the technological manpower and trained skills that we have in this country in plenty stop however this very reservoir of technological skills and trained manpower can became a useful element and an asset in our 
foreign relations stock we can in certain fields become an ad giving country stock giving of ad does not necessarily mean giving only financial ad stock we can very well compete with the so called developed countries in certain fields through the export of our technology and skills such as in sugar in cement in textiles and in many other fields stock in fact we can probably be more helpful to the less developed countries than the highly developed and complex technologies of the west stock this is a field which needs to be carefully explored in our foreign relations stock in the context of our extremely friendly relations which the honorable minister mentioned with countries like iran and the arab states our technical services can be offered to mutual advantages and this could become an extremely useful cementing factors in our relations stock this would apply with equal emphasis to the countries of africa and south east asia stock while on this subject i would like to give one interesting instance stock one of my colleague in this house was telling me the other day that he once suggested that we take on the technical survey free of cost of the hydroelectric potential of indonesia and how this could have been a contribution from us to the development process of indonesia stock this is a field where we have the manpower the skills and the competence stock i do not know what we came of this suggestion stock probably this is breed in bureaucratic files neatly tied up with red tape stock i am not disclosing any secret if i were to recall one of my own experiences in this context stock some years ago i made a submission to the ministry of external affairs that we should consider assisting jambia on the building of the railways stock we did not take sufficient interest in this project stock finally china took the work on hand and has now completed the job stop surely if china could have done it we would have also done it stop sir i can only call it our lack of interest in the railways as an example of our bureaucratic indifference and incompetence line therein stop if we had undertaken their railway our bilai steel plant locomotive works and the coach factory would have been kept busy for at least 20 years stop i presume that my friend might say that this should have been raised earlier stop